So this video is to show what happens when you get to the bottom of your quilt and you didn't quite give um, a tall enough total height for your quilt. You're going to run a little short. So what do you do? So that's what this video will show. And um, this design is not what's on this quilt. So we're just going to use this um, for, for this demo, but that'll, that'll be okay. I think you'll still, still figure it out. Okay, so we would have stitched, say, we would have stitched all of this, um, this row. This is like the second to last row, and then that's going to be the partial last row, except for what happens if this is the bottom edge of your quilt, and you start in stitching, and you see that it's stopping right there. Then you're like, mm, I don't want the straight line stitching. It needs to come down further. So, so here's what you would do, or here's what I would do. I preface it that way. Um, I would go into Zone Manager, say yes, and I'm going to um, arrow up because it's at the last zone right now. I'm going to arrow up to the full zone that's preceding it, the second to last zone. And whatever zone number is there, when you touch OK, then that's what's going to stitch. So I'm going to say OK. And I need to use repair pattern in order for this to work. So I need to place the zone. So you need to go back to the spot, wherever it was, that you originally placed that last zone. So we're just picking a spot there. And, and so at this point, we need to to take care of where the, the partial row needs to end at. So wherever you want your bottom stitches to hit, a quarter inch, a half inch, just um, depending on how straight your bottom is now that you're at the bottom there, however far below you want the lowest stitches to hit, that's where you're going to move your needle. And then you're going to touch those partial blue diamonds there. And this is a toggle. I could touch the full ones and it comes back and then I touch the partial ones. And it says out of safe area and it's pink. That's how this feature works. So that's totally okay. So now we have that figured out. So at this point, because I've placed it, um, I'm able to use repair pattern. So I'm going to say repair pattern. And then I'm looking over here to, um, to where I want it to pick back up at. And I need for it to, um, I'm, I'm going to need my needle to go over part of that design because I need to know it's lined back up right. So I'm going to say closest stitch. And the needle is up. And so now... If this were the actual quilt that I was quilting this pattern on, when I touch trace forward, then I'm going to really be watching to make sure that my needle is, is over that. And if it's not, then I'm going to need to use the nudge keys as much as possible to get it in place. So that's what I would be doing right now if this were really this quilt. Um, just watching and getting it lined up. I'm going to go ahead and let it stitch out some and get close there to the end. I'm going to hit stop. So the, the trace forward and, and trace back and the minus one stitch and plus one stitch and the nudge keys, I would really want to make sure before I left the end part of this design that my needle was right on top, right on top, so that when I start stitching, I'm going to hit trace forward again to get it onto the end. So at this point, I'm going to touch stop. At this point, I am probably, and it may have a little left, let's see. We'll do trace forward a little bit more and make sure it's cleared. So now I've stitched all of, of, of that, um, or I've verified that I'm on top of all the stitching of that, of that first row of the last zone. So now I'm ready to stitch this. So um, at that point, I'm ready to pull bobbin and tap on sew, and then it's going to give me that last row, and it's going to stitch with a straight line across. There's not going to be any jump stitches. But that way, I'm going to get that partial row that's the exact size I need. 
So that's what you do when you need to um, refigure, when you get to the bottom and you don't have a um, full enough height in your last zone. Hope you found this helpful.